probably have been wondering what this box is all about. We featured the box and it was sent to us by a sponsor, but we have not done the review. So today is the day and we will be opening this box. And somebody saw I took the bath top out and it's all about what is going on. He wants to know. I think he wants to go in there. I don't know. Let's go check. Would you want to go in there? You want to go in there? Well, you have to wait. We have to open first the box. You can help me with that. So High CC Groom is a fairly new company. They developed this product um, right at the start of the pandemic and they wanted to make a safe way for cleaning your pets. And so they came up with this product. It's non-toxic, non-irritating, not, has no residue, no alcohol in it, no fragrance, and uh, is non-sensitizing. Um, I typically would have done an unboxing because I this is how usually I do a review, but I knew so little about the product that I actually have opened it and used one of the items out of this. So the box looks, of course, really cool. And here is what you get, or what we got. We got, this is really what you need. And so you get this box and then they also added the skincare mist. That is really, if, if your hair, dog has an irritation or a wound or something like that, then you would spray this on. It's, I think I'm going to put this in my travel kit, like in my first aid kit. Um, often when we travel, those dogs sometimes get more sensitive. They step in things. Remember, we went to the land this year and they did have cactus on the land. And so this um, comes in pretty handy. So we'll have that and we'll put that in our emergency kit. So, and this is really where everything happens. So this is the box you get. And um, it has five packs inside. And I love the boxes, they're very colorful. But anyways, so you open up and you take one of the packs out. And you see this top part is all fluid and then this bottom part is all soft so it has two chambers it got the top part and then the bottom part and then um the way it works is you squeeze the top it has like a little vent right here in the middle so you squeeze the top and then you make the bottom part wet so the bottom part is gloves some fabric gloves and so you squeeze it you wet the fabric gloves and then you get a dog what we're gonna do here in a second you open it up and then basically you just wipe the dog with your gloves like i said i have used it i really loved it um bruno came in one day and he was all muddy from feet belly everything and I decided to use it and it was fantastic. But today, for camera purposes, we get the bathtub out and we will get Henry because he's been outside and he must have some kind of dirty feet. It's been muddy and snowy, so we'll see. Let me see if dirty feet. Yeah, yeah, there's dirty, see? He's got like footprints in the bathtub. So. I think he's dirty enough to try out the gloves, the grooming gloves from High C. Henry, you ready? You ready to try it out? You ready? Are you ready to try it out? It's not. So again, you squeeze it. You see in the bottom, it already has a little bit in there. You have to squeeze all the liquid in the bottom. You can make some noises, I guess. It's a little vent. So, and then when you have it at the bottom, give it a little squeeze too. Yeah, you see a little bit of liquid on the bottom. 
make sure you have it. Squeeze it a little bit. Make sure your dog is behaving in the bathtub. Are you behaving in there? Okay. So, and then you open it up and then you put the gloves on. Down here is a little tab where you open it. See it right there. So, it doesn't really smell like anything. It's fragrant free, but it's good. When I use it on Bruno, Bruno has lots of allergies. So um, let's go take the gloves out and wash the Henry. So they're fairly wet. The gloves are really soft and very thick. Um, I'm going to just put one on, maybe two, one. We'll see. Um, let's go see. And there are two layers, actually. If you look at it, they have two layers. So I like that. They're very thick. And let's go see. Okay. So I'm wiping his feet off. And you can see. He has been out there in the mud. Let me get your feet. Let me get your feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do his feet for right now. We save the other one for his body. Yeah. And you can like switch it and use the other side. But uh, we're just gonna... Henry, give it to me. You're gonna get a pox leg if you let me do it. Of course, if you have a wiggly little dog, it's not that easy. But I think it would be really perfect for dogs who don't like to be in the bathtub or get like sprayed with the sprayer. Not every dog likes water. Um, Henry is so-so, but um, he will let me give him a bath. But see, it's even good in, for their face. You can even use it in their face. It won't hurt him. It doesn't irritate anything. You can just rub him really good down. And let's go get your belly a little bit. Let's go get your belly. Oh, look it. You don't have to rinse or anything. You just let him air dry. And it's, if you're in a hurry, if you're traveling, how quick is that? How quick is that? Give the dog a bath. I, I'll definitely use the product. I will de definitely use it when I travel. That's for sure. Otherwise, they do have a shampoo from the allergist. All three of them take medicated shampoo. But this is a game changer for any dog who doesn't like water. So... And of course, after a bath, see, you can switch it out and use the other side. The other side is still clean. Give me your feet. Give me your feet. So, and who wants a schnicky for being a good boy? Who wants a schnicky for being a good boy? A puck snake. You were a good boy. You let me help. You let me take care of you. Good boy. Well, I have support. Yeah, those two guys get one too. So definitely check it out. I can recommend it um, for any dog who doesn't like water. People who need to frequently clean their dogs, who have a muddy yard like mine, I definitely would recommend it for traveling. I will not go without it. You never know what happens.